for each group of four, okay, or three. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get started here. Okay, listen closely. To save a little time, I won't bring out my overhead like you're usually accustomed to. Okay. Instead, let me just tell you what I'm going to give you for each group is a little three-page packet. Okay. What I need for you to do right now is every one of you get out a blank sheet of paper. Every one of you needs a blank sheet of paper. Thank you. Just put it right on the table back there. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't leave without it, all right? Okay. Now. There we go. All right. Okay. So, listen closely now. Everybody ready? Yep. Okay, everybody within your group of four or three, you need to work together. I know normally we work in pairs. Okay, but I figured today you have another pair of students, you know, a couple extra brains there to help you get through this little lesson. Okay, we've done this plenty of times before. Some of you honestly are still a little shaky. So, if you look at the packet, which you are all sharing as a group, page one has five equations I want you to graph. Now, you can graph it any way that you know how to do it, as long as you do it correctly. Can someone raise their hand and tell me what's one obvious thing I could do to graph? Nick. Slope. Use the slope with the y-intercept, y right? That's probably the way you probably want to do it, right, Nick? Yeah. Is there another way, though? Robert. Use the um, tables. Right, to make a table for the equation, right, and then plot the points from the table. Everyone got that? So those are the two main ways, right? We can graph those equations. So right now I need you to get started. The key thing is when you're done with the first five, the first page, as noted on the paper, please make sure I check to make, make sure you did it right before you move on. Okay? So go ahead and get started. Nick, question. Yeah, you're going to graph on that. That is your result for your group. Right. So someone here can assign themselves as the graph or whatever. The rest of you kind of work together to make sure it's accurate. Okay, you going to do it? Good job, man. Yes. All right, the grid paper. All right, you know what? Hey, listen up real quick. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I probably forgot because I'm still a little nervous. Okay? But the grid paper, you have one per group, right? So I'm relying on one of you in that group to be the designated grapher for the group. But the rest of you, please help out, you know, help each other. Get the graphs done correctly, okay? There you go, Robert. So while he's doing that, let's get started on this, guys. What are we going to do? Yeah. All right. This is actually the... Use the ruler, Robert. Use the ruler, man. Make it neat. All right. Ah, see, so now you've already forgotten, right? First of all, zero is our favorite number, right? You put in zero, two third times zero is what? Plus eight is eight. Now, because this fraction is a two thirds, do you remember why I told you what numbers you should pick now? Right? So maybe zero, three, and six would be good numbers to try with this one, right? That way you don't have to worry about fractions or mixed numbers. Okay? All right. So I forgot how to do this again. Like, how do you do X and Y? Okay, so now wait a minute. You want to make a table then, right? So you're going to make an XY table. Okay? Now, the idea again is to make our points, we just pick any number we want for X. We can do that, right? Everybody agree? Jenna? So okay. 0, 1, 2, and Ah, that's true, except because this is a two-thirds fraction, 
You want to pick threes, like exactly make it a three, zero, and three. All right, and if you want to just do zero, three, six, and stay away from the negatives, you can do that too. All right. So, zero, three, six. All right. Ten. And you think you can do it on your own now? You just want to be on the camera. Okay. No, that's not true. Okay. We're going to put in zero here, right? Okay. What's two thirds times zero? Zero. Everybody watching, right? Plus eight is? Eight. Eight. So three times two is six. six. Divided by three, three is, is two. two. Plus eight, eight is, is ten. Okay, ten. I get it. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Okay. Good job. So six times. All right, so, okay. okay, this is what I did. All right, put negative three, zero, three, and six, all right? How can you have your table backwards? I've never done that before. Uh, well, I do that. Okay. okay but it's easier. All right, okay. if you say so. Anyways, I put negative three, so I put two-thirds. Times three. negative three. Yeah, negative three goes on the top, right? Right. Well, you, negative three remembers negative three over one. There so, you go. But that's a negative still, right? Right, that's still a negative there. So it's negative 2. Negative plus 8 is? 6. Yeah. See? So negative 3 is 6, 0 is 8. Now 3 I questioned though. Try positive 3. Two thirds. So 3, 1. Okay. 1, 1. And then 3, 8. Number 2. 11. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 2 and 5. 2 plus, wait a minute, no, you were times again. Oh. It's 10. It's 10. Yeah. And then 6 is 12. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. I just totally forgot how to um, do the Okay, problem. now what I liked is you at least remember to use multiples. Like this one, let's try this one right here, right? Okay. You remember to use 5. Well, let's try 0. If I put in 0 there, what's 3 fifths times 0? Um, 0. Right. Minus 10. So put a negative 10 there. So now you're going to now try 5 in there, right? So just write a little 5 there so you can mentally see it. So if I do 3 times 5, that's... Now remember, I'm going to divide by the 5, which gives me minus 10. Good job. I think you got it now. Oh, okay. Alright, finish it up. Alright. How many points do you want to support? Well, that's a very good question. Obviously, how many points do I really need to make a line? Two, right? But just to make sure, plot at least three points. Okay. That way, if they're all on the line, you know you did it right. Okay? Yeah. Use the whole paper, man. Look at these big grid lines here. Everyone, make it count one. Okay? Yeah, you're going to graph these five. That's why I want you to use the whole paper. Make a big coordinate system. As a matter of fact, oh, okay. let me give you a fresh one to save you some time. All right, now I get it. Okay. So start over again. Use the whole coordinate system. That way all the lines are nicely spaced out and everything. Okay? Okay. Well, how do you want to graph it? Using a XY table? Or do you want to learn how to use slope and y-intercept? Okay, so you're going to make an XY table. You agree, Ben? All right. So if you work with Chris side by side, then you can compare answers, right? Don't just rely on Chris here. All right, now, Chris, the idea is I'm going to plug in any values I really want for X and figure out my corresponding Y, okay? But because this fraction is a two-thirds, what numbers should I possibly use that would make it easier for me? Numbers based on three. So like maybe negative three, zero, three, six, or zero, three, six would be good enough, right? That way you can get that graph down. Okay? So, you need my help? You want to try it on your own first. All right, you ready? Do I have to put this number? Well, if you want, we don't have to do the negative. You want to do the negative? Okay, here we go. Put a little negative 3 above there. Now, you know I'm going to do 2 times negative 3 is? Negative 6. Divide by 3 is? Negative 2. Good. Plus 8. Negative 6. Positive 6. 
Right? Now you're going to put in the zero and do the same thing, right? All right? There you go. See, with zero, you don't even have to bother putting it, right? You, are, you should automatically know that is your y-intercept. All right? Try three. Now just make that a positive three. To ten. You got it. You got it. Then see what Chris did there. All right? Okay. All right, sir, it looks like you're being left out here, aren't you? Okay, you understand what they're doing? Okay. So, all right, let, let me test you here. Let's try number four, right? Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I like how you label them like that. Excellent job. X minus nine, right? So tell me how you would graph that. Here we go. Now that's negative nine for X, right? That negative nine really is my Y intercept. Ah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Good. Ten. No, we only want to go nine. There you go. Hey, you guys taught them pretty well then, huh? And now my slope is one fourth. So that means. Good job. Excellent job. Oh, damn. Okay. What's your question, I don't, I don't get it. What about your partner here? She's doing an excellent job here. Oh. What, you shy or something? No, I just asked this guy. I'm trying to do it too. I'm trying to figure this one out. Yeah, how are you doing this? Okay, let me go to this other group, guys. Brandon? Brandon? Do me a favor, all right? I'll give you a choice, all right? You can pick either Ashley or Nick. Either way, I want I want them to teach it to you, all right? It's called teamwork here, okay? All right. And if they can't do it, I'll be back in a few minutes to help you, all right? Okay. Let's take a look here. I mean, a lot of these tables look great. Now let's get them plotted here, and we can see what it comes out to be. So after we load them all down, we plot them on here. Right. Every single one. Right. And then you're going to label them. Now, if you if you don't mind, since this is equation one, just put a little one at the end of it, and equation two, put a two at it, at the end of it. Okay. Brandon, you had a comment, question. I know how to do the regular ones. I don't know how to do the multiple fractions. That's what I have to Are you listening when Mr. Okay. Well, maybe you ought to go to Nick. Sounds like Nick knows what he's no, doing. I have okay, then maybe we ought to go to Ashley. Okay. Okay. What do we got going on here? Sir? Well, we got done with all the stuff that we were going to call you, but you're talking about. Yeah. Embarrass me here or something? Uh huh. You know, slope. For these ones you're we such use, a character, Nick. For these, for the fractions, we did the slope and then we made the tables. And everybody here agrees, right? Okay. So let me just check them real quick. I like how you numbered them one and so on. This one you didn't number. What number is that one? Uh, I think that was five. That was five. That one's correct. So put a five there. Okay, I can safely assume that this one must be the four, right? Uh, or is this one the four? Which one's the four? This one's two. Which four. one's two? Four. Four. four is negative nine, up one is four. So that, yeah, this is four. Are you sure about yeah. that? Because this one... one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, this ah, one. right. So let, do me a favor, race to two, right? And... Label them right near the ends of the lines. How's that? Because right there, I can't tell which line you're talking about, right? There, I know. Hey, two, that's that line. So this is a four line. Put the four right there. Okay? So both of those look excellent. Slope of three-fifths. And number four, slope of one-fourth. That's good. Number one, slope of two-thirds starting at eight. And this one is seven. 
right? Uh oh. I don't like equation three because look, it's going down. That's a positive three x. It should be going. Should be angling up. So correct number three, and then you guys, as soon as you get that corrected, just move on. I'll check that one later. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Number five. All right. First of all, you know the y-intercept is what? Negative five. Right. So put a dot on negative five. Good. We all agree on that? Yes. Now, see, this is something so simple but very important. See, in algebra, we get lazy sometimes, right? Guess what number's in front of that x? A one. Right, Robert? So therefore, put a 1 there. If the slope is 1, what am I going to do? Alright, you ready, sir? Make that 1 a, a fraction. How do I make 1 a fraction? 1 over 1. 1 over 1, right? right like, let's just put it underneath there. 1 over 1, something to look at. Alright, that's fine. Now remember, slope is rise over 1, right? Uh -huh. So 1 over 1 means I rise 1 and I go across 1. That's it. That's the slope of one. All right. So let me check them real quick. All right. Now, do me a favor, guys. You label these really nice. Matter of fact, this is the way, ideally, a way of labeling it. Right, the whole equation. But, like for example, equation one right here. Put a one next to it also. And this one's equation three, right? So put a three next to that. So number them, in other words, okay? Because what that's going to do, that's going to help you when I ask these questions about each of the equations. Okay? Because that's how I label them. I label them by numbers. Does that make sense? All right. So as soon as you get that done, which you're almost done, you get them numbered, just move on to the next set of five. All right? All right. So y and 3 says... Negative 10. Okay. So wait a minute. You try, you're, you're doing negative 5, right? Yeah. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 divided by 5, negative 3, yeah. minus 10. Is um, negative uh, 10. Oh, minus 10? Negative 3 and a negative 10. Oh, um, 13. Negative 13. So let's change that. Mm -hmm. Well, negative 5 is going to be not 5, but negative 13. 13. All right? Okay. Ben, you look like you're not, you're just coasting here, man. What's going on? Chris, make sure you help Ben out here, man. Ben, I just sense Ben's getting a little lost here. All right? This is your chance to ask not only Chris, but also Raymond here. Get some help from him, okay? You think you got it? Now zero, of course, is going to be what? If I put in zero here, what am I going to get? Wait a minute. What's three-fifths times zero? Three-fifths times zero. Zero minus ten would be? Zero minus ten would be? Not positive ten. Negative ten. So you want to put a negative ten there. Okay? Now tr try at least one more five, okay? Now it's a positive five, right? Yeah. So it's going to be, well, what's three times a positive five? Fifteen divided by five is three minus ten, negative seven. Don't forget the negative, okay? All right, guys, thanks for waiting so long. All right, you want me to just check the answers? Now the only favor I need you to do is because for each of these numbered equations, just number. For example, this is one, correct? Yeah. This one was equation three. Yeah. This one was equation five. So near the end of each of these arrows, yeah. just put, put, the number. put the number. And then this one, let me just make sure, because I don't have them all memorized. See, negative nine was one fourth. You got the slope perfect there, and this one was three fifths, right? So everything looks perfect. Just number them and move on to the next five. Okay. Okay? We're on number six.
I got it, guys. I got it. So here's all number five. Look at that. Excellent work, man. Excellent work. One, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. Excellent. But they're having problems in the Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. You know what? Matter of fact, I think it's time for me to address the whole class. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now, about half of you are already about ready to start the next set of five, right? Starting on number six. Let me give you a hint. Just a little reminder. What you'll notice, Julie, you're doing a great job, but please listen, okay? You'll notice on equations six through ten, the slopes are negative. All right? So therefore, instead of rise or run me, you go up and to the right. With a negative, we're going to instead go down. down and to the right. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. So please get going. Please make sure I check your first five and give you the okay to move on. Okay? Yeah. I'll check yours real quick. Okay? All right, good. You guys numbered them? Yeah. Okay. There's one. So, equation three, two thirds. Equation five looks good. I haven't even gotten the five. I'm already okay. Excited. And you got four and two. Looks perfect so far. Okay. I'm Move on to equation six then. Now, you're saying you're being left behind here a little bit? On which one? Well, there are obviously on five. And okay. Robert. Now, Robert here, I'm sure, can help you. He, you got the. One of the smartest kids in class, right? He tried to explain it once, but I'm not so sure. Okay, it looks like you made a nice table here, though. You understand what you did there? Yeah. Okay. So you, when you put in zero, one fourth times zero is what? Zero. Minus nine is. Okay. Then you tried four, right? Yeah. All right. Why did you pick four and eight? Why didn't you pick like one and two and three numbers like that? Because they're divisible by four. Well said. Good job. So, when I try four, see, what's one fourth times four? Just one yeah. minus nine is negative eight. Yeah. And then you put in eight, one fourth of eight is Two. minus nine is negative seven. So that's perfect. If you plot those three points, you get exactly what is on your graph there. Yeah. Okay? All right, that guys. Are you sure this is right? Oh, so you want me to just check six real quick, right? No, so five. You and five. Five one, because that's what we messed up on last time. Right, five now looks perfect. No, three. Okay. Three oh, three was the one we messed up on. So three is right here. And the idea is you want a positive three slope, which you did perfectly. So three is good. Let's go back to six, since we're here. Here's six, so you started at positive eight. The slope is negative five thirds, so you went down five and over three, didn't you? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Ashley, how is Brandon doing here? Brandon? Good. That's what I want to see. All right. You keep helping Brandon. Let me with Ashley over here. Nick, if you want to watch, you can. But I can tell you right now, five is good. Okay, let me start an or here. Ten? One looks good. If you put, how oh, many do you add? Yeah, it'd be 12. One, the slope is two thirds, isn't it? Right? So first of all, our y-intercept is eight. Ashley, let's look at yours, since you're more comfortable with yours. You agree that zero, eight should be my first point, right? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, that's good. Three. Oh, here's your mistake. All right. Now watch, Ashley. You ready? When I put in three, two times a three would be six. Divided by three would make two. Six divided by three is two, right? Okay. Plus eight would make ten. So three would be ten. Well, what's two plus eight? Ten. So that's a 10. This one, I'm sure, has got to be something bigger. Okay. It's going to be 12. I believe it's 12. Yeah, see, I did it on him, and I did it on my paper. Okay. All right, so it sounds like you guys didn't compare your answers here. But I think that's your only mistake. Because equation 3 looks very good. 
Alright. You know what? Equation two I don't necessarily like either. Is this supposed to be two? Two says we're starting at what number? Negative ten, right? You're not starting at negative ten here. What's this number? Two, four. Somehow you're starting at negative six. So what happened on equation two, guys? Hey, how come we didn't use your table? I don't know. We don't think that is. So if we start at ten, then... Oh, I know. Look what you did wrong. You copied the equation down wrong. That's number four. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. My mistake. He, he, he oh, yeah. It looks like a six. I can't even read your right. Yeah, why is that a six? It should be a negative ten, it, it right? It looks like a six and it's ten. Okay. And five, you got negative seven. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. And then ten, you got negative four. Okay, so why don't you try replotting those three points and move on to equation six and through ten, and I'll check uh, number two later on. Okay, the rest of them look pretty good, though. All right? Okay, what are we doing here, guys? Hey, how come none of these lines are labeled? Whoops. Now, what I suggest you do, hold on, what I suggest you do before I come back is for each of these, just call it equation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? Put a number at the end of each of these lines. So, like number 1, 2... Like, for example, number 1... Whoa. Wait a minute. I don't like what I see here. What you make me do? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Number one. I believe this is supposed to be your number one here, right? I think so. How come it's going down, guys? Aren't all these slopes positive? So all of these should be going up. How's it going down? Look at it. It's going down. It's going How do you read a book? How do you read a book, sir? You read from left to right. So let's start on the left side of the line. Yeah. And as I move to the right, I'm going in which direction? Down. Right? Now, if you look at all the other lines, see, they're all positive. But it's going up. Sir, you have to read from left to right. Okay? All right? It's going down. So, guys, you need to make those corrections. Label the lines. Correct this one at least. Okay? Oh, my gosh. Let me make sure I keep track of the time, too. All right. Man, you guys did an awesome job here. Okay. Let's take a look here. So here's your number six, right? And we started at eight, and the slope was negative five-thirds, so you went down five and over three. That line looks perfect. Let's look at your number seven. Here's negative one. You went down four and over one. There's your line there. That looks perfect. Let's check number eight real quick. Oh, that's an eight, right? Okay. So on number eight, you started at 12 and negative one-third. Looks perfect. Number nine is 14, which is where? Way at the very top. And negative three halves means you went down three and over two. So there's your line right there. And finally, number 10. We're at three and slope is negative one. Perfect. So now all you guys have to do is answer these questions. Okay? The best you can. On this piece of paper? On your piece of paper. Okay. On your own piece of paper, okay? Okay. Alright, how are we doing here, guys? I don't know if I'm What's the ruler for? Look at this. Just from now on, make sure to straighten out these lines and keep going. Uh, and are you labeling? That's number one. Yeah. Number oh, two. Uh, no, that's number three. I forgot to be number two. Okay, wait a minute. All right, number three is concerning me. You ready? Yeah. Let's try this again real quick. All right, it's three x plus seven, right? Yeah. So when I put in, let's let's just start with zero. When I put in zero, what's three times zero? Zero. Plus seven is. Seven. Why you put negative seven? What's zero plus seven? Well, I started. Chris, let me take a look at your table for three. How come you're not standing up to Raymond here and say, hey, man, look, I got the right answers. All right, your table is correct. You got to believe in yourself, right? You guys got to start working better together and comparing answers. All right? Ben, I'm worried about you, man. What are we doing here? Put away the book.
and Chris, you need to work with your normal partner here a little bit better and compare answers. So, I mean, if you would have compared answers, guys, you would have seen on this table here, right, that, hey, someone must be making a mistake because we're getting different answers here, right? So, either correct yours or if you want, you can trust Chris. I would trust Chris. Chris's to be honest. Okay? Right? Now, did you have to go by twos? Well, wait a minute. Isn't this just a regular number three? Yeah. So, on these kind, I always told you just use like zero, one, and two, right? You didn't have to go by multiples or anything because there's no fraction to divide by. You see? Alright, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Can I interrupt the whole class? Shh. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shh. Now please listen. Okay. The thing is, I, I, I have to be honest, I'm getting a little, little worried, maybe a little frustrated here, just because I could see that some of you have some serious weaknesses. Yet, you have people either across from you or right next to your own partner that seems most of the time have the right answers yet you're not even asking them. So guys I ask you starting right now is check your work with your partner's work work together. All right, This is not an individual kind of assignment here. Is it, everything I say makes sense so far? Okay now <clears throat> let me just give you a heads up. We've got roughly what 12 minutes left in class? Okay I want you to keep doing what you're doing. If for whatever reason you actually get to the last page and you, you've answered these questions to the best of your ability, now obviously today we have no time to discuss it, okay? We're going to pick up, we're going to pick this up again on Monday. But if you happen to ask these questions, yeah, we're back on Monday, all right? When we, when we, after you answer these questions, if you get that far, please make sure you do this quick right all right which simply means all I want you to do is be honest with yourself and with me and just sit there for the remaining time write a minimum of two paragraphs okay on what we've learned today what you've actually learned today okay those of you that aren't at this stage don't worry about it yet in about let's say four or five minutes I'm gonna make all of you do it anyways so Please keep working wherever you are. I'm still walking around. Yeah. Don't worry about that until Monday. We'll catch up on Monday, all right? Let's focus on this. All right, Ashley? Yeah, um, I don't get these two. All right, is anyone in this group understand what to do here? No, because they're like the different numbers. Okay. All right. Okay, now you want to use slope and y-intercept, but you want to make tables. Seems like tables are the way to go here, right? So let's 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 go there. All right. First of all, Ashley, that's a negative five thirds, isn't it? Okay. So now, if I plug in zero, guys, Brandon, watch. If I plug in zero, what's negative five thirds times zero? Zero. Plus eight is. Eight. Right. That was easy. But I don't know what to use, like threes? You would use threes. Try three and six. Okay. Sir, so, no. You have to stay here. All right. So, all right, let's try three. Nick, Jesse, you ready? If I put in a three there, okay, you're going to get negative five because of the negative plus eight. What's negative five plus eight? Oh, yeah. Positive three. Uh, but the next one is negative two. Wait, is that how you did it? Uh, you wrote it upside down. That's okay. And then the next one is going to be what? Negative two. It's going to be negative two. You got it. Oh, oh no. I don't okay, you haven't done You did that in your head, huh? Yeah. Impressive. I was doing it. Okay. So, don't let the negative scare you. Just the same idea as the front. Just know that when you times, you're going to have a negative, right? And your problem. That's all. Why did you get out of your seat, Robert? Well, I, I kind of know. Okay, I just kind of know how to corner my eye. <laughs> so what's going on here? How are we doing? Okay. 
Okay. So, have I come by to check all ten equations yet? No, not, not all ten. Just the first five. We're on okay. 10. You are on number ten. You want me to wait till you get number ten done? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Ladies, you've been awful quiet over here. What's well, going on? Well, because we've been waiting for you. Okay. Like All right. So where are you stuck? Or if you're not stuck, what do you like me? You want me to just check your answers then? Is that what you're saying? Okay. So. So I've already checked the first five, yes or no? No, no. Oh, really? Well, because you've been over there, you know. Yeah, I know. I've been, I've been pretty busy. All right, let's start with six through ten. Well, okay. We're only on eight. So, okay. So I'll do. I'll do the first eight. How's that? First eight. All right. So I agree. That's plus twelve. Wait a minute. Which one we're doing? Number six. That's plus eight, right? Two, four, six, eight. Good. Now negative five thirds would mean you come down five and you go over three, right? So that one's perfect. Number seven. You would have started at negative one. And because of the negative four slope, you would have gone down four and over one. So that one is perfect. Okay? And number eight. I'm a little concerned. See how it's slanting up? See, eight's a negative one third. So you ready? Well, what does plus 12 mean? Up here. So erase number eight. Try number eight again. Okay? Okay, all right, Jessica, all right, let me slow down then. Because trust me, I'm sick and I'm also tired, but we, we can do this, all right? You ready? Zero, three, and six is right now, right? Zero was 12. So why did you plot down here when zero positive 12 is up there? Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, let's look at the rest of your table. I put a negative. <laughs> so three. All right, if I put in three here to Carlos, what's one third of three? One, right? So that negative makes it a negative 1 plus 12, which was a positive. So you had these points exactly right. I kept, I put them so you put them down, you plotted wrong, basically, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, all right. Yes, you're finally done, right? Okay. If you don't mind, I'll just take a quick glance, spot check a few of them, because I'd like you to move on to the questions. Okay. All right. Sorry, answering the questions, okay? And the ones I'm looking at right now, like for example, this one here, this is number seven, that looks good. Number six, down five over three, that looks perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see, you just finished ten, right? Mm -hmm. And that one's also perfect. So I can safely say that you guys seem to know what you're doing. So now please answer these questions. Yeah, right? For example, questions. well, just go one by one. You're going to have more time on Monday anyways. All right. But on number one, what, what did you notice about the first five equations? When you graphed them, what did you honestly notice about them all? They all went to the right. They all went up and to the right. They had a, that's why we always said they had a positive slope, right? Because a positive number in front of x, right? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shh, listen up. Wherever you are, wherever you are, honestly, guys, it really doesn't matter. I really appreciate the effort you put in for me today. That's the important thing. What I like you to do, what I like you to do now, whether you're done or not, guys, I honestly hope that all of you have learned something today. Okay? So I want everyone now on their own piece of paper, I repeat, on your own piece of paper, do this quick write for the remaining part of class. Okay? On that same piece. And a few hints would be like, hey, did you learn, you understand? Did you understand something about slope maybe a little bit better? Or why intercepts? Or maybe you got better at making tables on the same piece of paper. Yes, sir. Any questions on that? All right, quick right time, guys. Let's get that done. Can you check this? What's the school and bowling stuff? Mm. Jeremy? Oh, you're, you're waiting for me because we're done over here? Yeah. yeah we're let, me, let, me see, we're, let me see the answers. They're over here. I don't know. Okay. But where's your own work, though? I don't know. And right now, what are you supposed I to be doing? I was doing that. He was doing this. I understand, but right now, what are you supposed to be doing, then? We're waiting for you. 
All right, now that I'm here, what else could you be doing right now? What did I talk about on the board there? Right? See, I can see quickly you haven't even finished graphing these yet. So I want you to do the quick write right now. And then I expect better results on Monday. I want you to finish this up on Monday. Fair enough? Okay, Jeremy? Jeremy on group six says, what do you notice from the intersection between Ah, see, now it gets a little interesting. Show me your equation two. Show me your equation six. Now, one thing that uh, hopefully you understand is, see, a line, those arrows mean they go on, lines go on forever in both directions, right? So take your ruler, and let's ex actually extend this line. Be very careful. You know, be precise. Let's extend that line straight down. Okay? Go all the way down to there somewhere. There we go. Good, 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 good. Now, that's good enough, because the idea is I'm asking about what? The intersection. The intersection is where two lines meet or cross each other, right? Look where these two lines meet or cross. What do you notice about the angles there? It's a right angle. Well said, right? So, now in mathematics, this is something I haven't mentioned yet, that's also called perpendicular. Have you guys heard of that, about that before? Yeah. So, these two lines, therefore, you would say are perpendicular. They make right angles. Right? Okay. Have you started your quick write yet, Brittany? No, because I was doing the graphing and they finished all the answers, so I have to write down all the answers. Right now, I want you to stop what you're doing, and let's lay just one paragraph now. Just write as much as you can. I didn't learn anything. Alright? You didn't learn it. You didn't know how to learn how to make tables, or understand slope, or y-intercept, or anything like that. Okay? Just saying. How I can't believe. The camera's probably here. That was nice. How come you crumpled it up? I screwed up. Oh, so you got a new one? So on Monday, you're going to redo it. I'm just trying to redo it. Maybe even use a ruler to draw your coordinate system. Make it look professional. Do it all the way down. Over your weekend. Okay. Last time, ladies and gentlemen. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay? Here's the deal. Because we're running short on time, and since I'm going to follow up anyways on Monday, okay, and we're actually going to have a little discussion about not just graphing, but also what I wanted you to discover about these lines. All right. Please make sure you put away all your work. Do not lose any of it. Do not turn anything in today because you're going to need it on Monday. What do we do with this? Can I trust you? Can your group trust you to fold that up and put it away somewhere? Yeah, we're going to trust you. All right. Keep it until Monday. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're not even going to be here Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? D O T. D C A T. Leave your work with another group member. Hey, what do we do with this, Mr. Leave that on the desk. That'll be fine. Okay, hurry up and go, guys. Have a good weekend. Did you have fun? Good. I had a blast. I learned something with that. It was so much fun.